and knowing full well that if you pay attention, he will be there for you. God will always be there for you. God will guide you. He will guide your thoughts. He will guide your heart. He will guide your speaking. He will guide your, your, your intelligences. He will guide you in everything you do. God will guide you and you and to the crown he made for you. But most people fail it. Yes, most people fail it. I am from, I, I will take you to the Bible now. In the Bible, in the first generation, in the first generation was Noah and the ark. Noah is to the process to return the fallen Adam and Eve. We all know the story of Adam and Eve. How God wanted them to be the perfect family. Yes. So, from the, from the Noah and uh, the ark, yes, Noah and ark, to the process to return the fallen Adam and Eve, God chose Abraham. Yes, because God, let me take you back, okay? God chose Noah to fulfill the falling of Adam and Eve, which is the first generation. God asked Noah to build the ark, which he did. We all we know about that story in the Bible, so you can go to your Bible and check that out. So let's move on, guys. And God chose Abraham now to do the work for him again. God chose Abraham. The Lord said, leave your father. God is telling Abraham to leave his father's house. Leave your father's house and go to the land where I will make you great. Yes, that's what God said to Abraham. Go to the land where I will make you great. Please understand that Abraham left his father's house without telling his father, without telling his family. Okay, let's move on. Abraham's father is parent. He was an idol maker. Abraham left. Abraham left with his assume, with his sister, sorry guys, with his sister Sarah. Yes, he left with his sister Sarah. Yes. Okay. Before let me take you back, okay? Before Abraham left the the father's house, he didn't tell the father one. He 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 worked on how God directed him. He worked on how God directed him. And we all know that Abraham's father was an idol maker. Because if Abraham would tell the father that, oh, this is what God told me to do, maybe the father might not accept him. He might not have accept what he was saying. And he might, you know, he might turn him down or he might let him not to do what God says. What God told him to do. He, what God, the direction God wants him to, to go. You know, Abraham left with full assurance of greatness with his sister Sarah and his nephew. Yes, he left with two people, Abraham himself, the sister Sarah, and his nephew. Without the influence of the family. And and lot of them made and both of them made as God instructed. What I am trying to say is that both uh, both of them did as God instructed, yeah? Why you and me in Africa, we are working under the limitation of our family. As a woman, if you have a big dream that God gives you and directs it and directs you to push on, that will lead you to greater crown. But your parents would look into the risk, the risk part of the and share your life to where they think that is better for you as a woman. And help you towards that direction. After you will be hand over to a man for your future. You will be hand over to your parents. What God directs you to do, your parents are not saying it that way. They want you to go towards their own direction. After that, and they will... After your education, after everything, what your family is expecting you to do, after you acquire all your, your degree, you acquire all your, your PhD, you acquire all, whatever you are acquiring, after that, your parents will be expecting you to get married. Yes, that's what I mean about uh, that. So, guys, let's continue. So, we'll be hand over to a man for future marriage. As I've already explained that. These are the mind of every family in Africa. Yes, after you after you uh, acquire your PhD, 
your whatever you are acquiring yet, what your parents intend me for. The next target is for you to get married. When you, if you haven't gotten married, their mind will not be set to this is every parent's hope in Africa. Yes, this is every parent's mind, hope, everything in Africa. Yes, but they forget that God has something big for you. Yes, they forget that God has something big for you. And what God holds for you is a is of greater height in his glory. This is why most of women are finding it difficult to fix in the great position. Yes. This is why most women are finding it difficult to fit in a growth position because when you don't follow God's rule, you don't follow God's direction, you you know you you will be going different direction. Yes, that's what I mean. Let's continue, guys. If you go by the direction of God, my dear, you will surely reach your destination. All will be as simple as anything because the Lord is in the front guiding you yes it's guiding you because if god instructs you to do something he's always there for you he's there he's guiding you he will do whatever it is that he needs to do for you to succeed but if you are not following the direction of god he's i don't know what is going to happen you, you are going different direction okay listen to this okay let's continue so everything will be easy for you as and it as ABC because the Lord is in the front guiding you. Yes, He's in the front guiding you. Most of us women, under our family influence, rules and guidelines. Yes, guidelines. What I mean by that is we follow from our mother footsteps. Yes, <laughs> we follow from our mother footsteps. Yes, we follow from our mother footsteps. But this part is very interesting on this side of call. The devil speaks to most of us women on the devilish direction. We will follow, we will follow, we will follow no family rules or influence. Most of us will run in, in and answer. will run in and answer you will not sell anybody meaning what devil tells you you can't say it to any, nobody yes you can't say it to anybody because we have two hearts you know whatever is speaking to you down there in there so i don't know you know when some when sometimes you feel like doing something the other half to say you don't do it the other one will say oh do it nothing will happen so that's what i mean by not telling anybody under the nose of our parents, the devil will plant the tree of limitation. Yes, the devil will plant the tree of limitation. And destruction will come and hand you over to a boy as your boyfriend. That will come in and destroy the temple of the Holy Spirit, dwelling in you as, as most persons and cause of limitation yes what i mean is that with that you don't tell your parents anything whatever you 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 want to do you don't tell them and you think that and also you are not following your parents to rule you are not what you do is to follow the the devil's rules that's what i mean by that and destruction will fall upon you you'll be going in different direction you'll be of a spirit of limitation yes you your spirit will be of a limitation of limitation Transfer to your own home. That spirit will be leaving you. That spirit will be in you. That spirit of limitation, that spirit of destruction will, will take you from your parents' house and go to your own home, which is your family, the man that you are going to marry, the man that you are living with. That spirit will be dwelling in you and will be manifesting. Yes, that's what I mean by transferring to your own home. And all that you will do in life will be up and down. Yes. Please check your life if what I said makes sense. Yes. To you, please comment. Comment on this video. Comment. Say something to me. Let me know whether what I said makes sense. What I have been saying is whether it makes sense or whether it's wrong or right. Please comment. We 
women need to work hard to break this barrier of ours so that the upcoming will start with us so that the upcoming will start with us so that they will emulate whatever we do which is it will work in the God's direction yes I will stop here for now because I have so much more concerning this issue I want to hear what you say about this particular topic what you think about it all that I said whether it makes sense to you or not if you, I know a lot of women are in this situation which they don't have anyone to talk to but if you see that this video is so helpful to you please don't forget to comment okay don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe if you are watching till now don't forget to put on your notification bell okay so guys i will stop here for now because i have so much more to talk about this with you in my next video okay okay guys we'll be stopping here i want to thank you for staying up to this time god bless you subscribe to my channel like comment and if you know that everything I've said on this video, in this video, sorry, has made a lot of sense to you, please guys subscribe. Help your sister support the, my channel so that you'll be getting more of these stories, more of this topic. It's really, really sensitive to me. It's special to me. And I, I, I decided to share it out. Okay? Subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video.